Hey, it's Van from Candrone. Today we're out here setting up some targets in order to test the Eagle Eye search and rescue software. We have this kind of bag of props here with different types of color uh, that we'll be placing throughout the, the forested area. And the objective of the drone and software today is to be able to fly over this forested environment to try to simulate a lost person in the woods. And we're hoping that the software will pick up these colors and identify it for us in order to uh, assess how well the software works. With this software, there's two uh, methods that you can use to uh, analyze the footage. Uh, the first method is we're going to do a live HDMI output. So with the laptop, I've got the Eagle Eyes uh, software set up here with a just an Amazon capture card, HDMI capture card. And uh, I have the RC here. Uh, just keep in mind with these uh, certain remote controllers, you need to have a, a mini HDMI. So those are not very common plugs So make sure that you have that ahead of time. So we have everything plugged into here and we'll power it on and get everything set up. Today we're using the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Uh, this software is primarily using kind of RGB analysis. So uh, there's no thermal um, needed. So this is probably like a two man operation. So somebody's gonna have to monitor the, the screen and then the pilot will obviously pilot the aircraft and focus on not crashing into the trees. So the software isn't going to be perfect. It's uh, picking up color anomalies. And there is definitely a disclaimer that, you know, you need to definitely monitor the feed yourself. So right now it is picking up that red trail bag that I put down earlier. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the data that was collected on the computer and try to analyze it back to the office to see if we were able to spot that. So we're back at the office now and we're going to take a closer look at the Eagle Eye uh, search and rescue software. I just want to mention that we're not associated with this organization in any way. Uh, we assist some search and rescue operations and it's just our way of testing out the software and seeing how well it works with our drones. So I have the Eagle Eye scan uh, loaded up into here with the mission that we just did. Um, so I'll just do a quick run through here. Uh, if we hit the space bar to start playing the video, You'll see on the right side that it's starting to uh, populate whatever it's detecting in terms of color or motion. Uh, it is picking up some leaves uh, on the treetops here. So clearly the software isn't perfect. Um, it's there to pick out any color anomaly. So we have to keep that in mind that we'll probably be getting a lot of false alerts, but at least you get an idea of what to potentially look at. Yeah, one very important thing to note is that when you're flying in a sunny day and looking down at the forest floor, there's often shadows uh, that will be either underexposed. Uh, so you need to make sure that you have your camera settings uh, set appropriately for the environment in order to get the best exposure. And you see in, in this shot, there's a, a biker uh, person going through the trail here. And in a second here, you also see that it starts to pick up uh, and detect motions. And right about there, motion. These are things that you would probably miss looking at a very small screen. Oh, there, yeah. So that's one of our, the bags that we left out uh, in the bushes here. So it's really, really highlighting that. And we've switched from the wide camera into the zoom camera of the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And that highlights beautifully. So you can see it picks that up. That kind of serves as a clue for somebody to, you know, look back or look, take a closer look at what's going on there. Oh, and they picked out the other target. And this is a interesting one because it's behind uh, some foliage of the trees. Obviously, this is uh, a tool that's meant to aid people in search and rescue. Um, so I think this software would be, you know, very suitable for any environment that has that is very homogenous. So maybe. Uh, in, in a snow environment where anything, any color will stick out or in the desert potentially, or maybe even in the ocean. So we haven't tested that out yet, but I think that would be, might be a, another application for this software. Some of the best practices that we would recommend while using this software is being very familiar with how to adjust the camera settings. Because the software is based on kind of visual identification, you need to have a properly exposed uh, camera setting in order to be able to pick out the objects. The second thing is ideally the subject is wearing red or orange or any bright color that's easily distinguishable. The software is very flexible so you can either do it live or you can go out there and fly the mission and just capture a video feed. 
and bring the footage back into uh, onto your computer and analyze it after. So there, you can do it both ways uh, if necessary. So overall, I think this software is definitely a great tool to have. It's by no means like the perfect end all solution that will you know find the subject for you. There's definitely some human intervention there that needs to manually kind of look at the anomalies that is it has detected. However, the software does a great job of picking out those anomalies for that person to review. When I was flying the mission and looking down at the screen, I definitely was not able to see the targets that I set out. When we got back to the office, we were able to take a closer look at the footage that we captured and we were able to spot all the anomalies that I definitely did not see on the screen.